everyone so uh, this is my presentation for the supply chain project supply chain management of dango cement in this video we talk about the company profile the supply chain management supply chain management of uh, dango cement information flow procurement inventory management distribution management and finally logistics management so let's begin by the company profile Dango Cement is a Nigerian multinational publicly traded cement manufacturer. It is a subsidiary company of Dango Industries, which was founded by Aliko Dengote in 1981 as a trading business. Now the company is engaged in the manufacture, preparation, import, packaging, and distribution of cement and related products across the African continent. Now, before moving to the supply chain management of Dango Cement, let's first define what is supply chain management. Supply chain management is the management and oversight of a product from its origin until it is consumed. Supply chain management involves the flow of materials, finances, and information. This includes product design, planning, execution, monitoring, and controlling. The goal of this process is to reduce inventory, increase transaction speed, and improve the workflow with profit in mind. Dango Supply Chain Management Dango Cement adopts a fully integrated supply chain model. That's why the supply chain is managed as a single entity within the company, where all processes from raw material extraction through the value-adding processes to distribution channels are interlinked within the organization. As we said before, the supply chain is managed as a single entity within the company, thus ensuring the information flows throughout the entire system, where all members of the supply chain are involved and freely share planning, demand, forecasting, and inventory information among themselves. This fluid information flow can ensure collaboration in drawing up production marketing and shipment plans. Now let's move on to the first process of the supply chain, which is procurement of raw materials. Generally, the raw materials that you need to produce cement are extracted from quarries. The strategy of Dingo Cement in minimizing the cost of raw materials is depicted by the location of their plants, where the three plants that Dingo Cement owns are located near the quarries where they can extract all the raw materials that they need to produce cement. These can minimize the cost of raw materials, generally the transportation cost, and also minimize the lead time, which can be almost zero in this case. Suppliers of raw materials that Dingo Cement cannot extract from queries are required to comply with the DCP supplier guiding principles, which encompass workers' rights and ethical business practices. Dingo suppliers range from small independent firms to large international companies. Dingo Cement chooses its suppliers based on the price they offer. For the inventory management, the company uses the just-in-time approach to manage its inventory. The just-in-time approach is an inventory strategy that companies employ to increase efficiency and decrease waste by receiving goods only as they are needed in the production process. This strategy can reduce inventory costs, especially holding costs. But before producer adopts such a strategy, an accurate forecast of the demand must be performed. In order to meet the demand of cement, Dingo Cement runs an integrated make-to-order model. This model requires tracking of customer demand in real time. That's why Dingo Cement adopted the CPFR collaborative planning, forecasting, and replenishment in order to balance demand and supply. Distribution management. The company uses the cost efficiency transportation to supply the foreign market. 
that for the local market, the company uses the road transportation, since it is the only option due to the poor railway infrastructure. Also, Bengozi Mant has invested in various strategic locations for depots across Nigeria to ensure quick supplies. Bengozi Cement operates with 67 owned warehouses and cement depots. The company has also invested in building terminals in various locations for export purposes. Logistics Management the company has its own fleet of trucks that provide freight services with over 3,000 trucks. The fleet is used in transport of raw materials from seaports and quarry to factories, also for the distribution of finished goods. The fleet of trucks is monitored by trace and tracking system. And to mitigate any disruption, regional transport hubs are baked by a fully fledged workshop to take preventive action and deliver maintenance to all the tracks of the fleet. The company implements scientific logistic solutions to find means of effective distribution. Also, the company has developed a modern robotic laboratory in all its cement plants. These modern laboratories are operated by trained personnel and are provided with the latest technologies, practices, and standards. Thank you for watching my video, and if there is any question, please don't hesitate.